Hi there, it's Laura from Green Tree Co-op. I'm here today because we are doing a sampling of some live food. We have six different live foods that you can try if you want to come in anytime between now and five o'clock. So we've got kimchi, wild brine kimchi. If you've never had kimchi, it's this wonderful, delicious, spicy version of sauerkraut. Um, it's Korean. You can put it in ramen, you can serve it with rice, um, you can do it with scrambled eggs, that's one of my favorite ways to have it. It's really versatile and it's super tasty. We are also sampling uh, Good Belly probiotic beverages. This is kind of a sweet, fruity probiotic drink for people who aren't as into things like kefir or the, the heavy dairy beverages. This is a little bit lighter and um, it's really tasty also. Thanks. Um, so we also have from the brinery, um, the Fair by Sauerkraut. This is a really nice crunchy sauerkraut. When you get canned sauerkraut, it's often really soft um, because it's been pasteurized. It doesn't have the, the texture to it that a live fermented sauerkraut will have. So this is really great. Um, just as a side dish, you can put it on your hot dogs or your non-meat hot dogs. Um, it's also really good in things like, um, you know, like savory vegetable pancakes. You can add this and give a nice little sour element to them. We're also sampling a Trilogy Kombucha. If you've never had kombucha, it's a live fermented beverage made from a SCOBY, which is a symbiotic colony of yeast and bacteria. Now it sounds a little funny, but it actually tastes pretty good. It's sort of tangy and fruity and naturally effervescent, so it's, it's a fun alternative to soda with some health benefits added. We also have Bubby's Pickles, um, which are a, again, a live pickle. These have not been pasteurized. They have to be kept refrigerated, but they have a really good like tanginess and almost a spiciness to them that a canned or pasteurized pickle won't have. And finally, we're sampling brown miso. Um, this we are actually going to be making into a broth. We've got some hot water over here on the side that you, you can't see. Um, you can use it as a base for a dashi broth, a traditional Japanese broth. You can put it in marinades and salad dressings. Um, you can toss it in even to a pasta dish, I suppose. It's just got a nice, pleasant, savory flavor while having all of those good live cultures in it. So that's what we're going to be sampling today. Come on down anytime between now and 5 o'clock and you can try all of these delicious items here at the co-op. Thanks for checking it out. Bye.